Cookie Swirl C. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to Cookie Swirl C. We're gonna be checking out new makeup that I have found at Walmart, ColourPop, and Too Faced today. So starting with Walmart, I've got a whole big giant bag just filled with the most amazing makeup. I couldn't even believe it when I saw this. Watch. I had been looking for the Girl Scouts collab and I finally found it. Yes, this is at Walmart. They had this big giant display. I was actually walking by, like actually going to the Barbie section. I was like, oh, they have it. They finally, finally have it. So I picked up all the different pieces that they had, including the Girl Scout Cookies eyeshadow palettes. I mean, right? We all love a Girl Scout cookie. I mean, I know I do. They are delicious. So even on the back, it gives a little description. Love how it's round, actually like a Thin Mint cookie. Mmm, yum. Just kind of folds open. I like the little message on top. It just says, she can, she can, she can, I can. Such a good message. You can do anything. Dream big and shine brightly. I think it actually smells like a Thin Mint cookie too. This actually has a cookie smell. I did think the colors were gonna be a little bit more chocolatey. It does have a really nice green pressed glitter in here. Then we've got this one, the Caramel Queen shadow palette. This one was inspired by the tasty caramel coconut and chocolatey stripes of the coconut caramel cookies. It does have a coconutty smell on the inside. I do smell it. It's not very strong. I think this one, they did a pretty good job with those colors. There's that pinky purple pressed glitter. I think it looks pretty much like the coconut caramel cookies. This is the last cookie palette, the Buttery Bestie shadow palette. I think this palette is pretty buttery and pretty delicious looking. I like this really nice light blue. We've got a blue glitter. That chocolatey brown looks really nice too. It's got a little bit of some gold in it as well. Yeah, there's kind of a buttery scent. I don't exactly know how to describe the scent of this one. It's slightly buttery, but also almost an alcohol smell. <laughs> I like that they actually sealed them in so people can't just open them up in the store because people do like to swatch things, even whenever they have haven't purchased anything yet. So those are the cookie eyeshadow palettes. I am the most excited for these. These are the cookie glaze lip colors, also in those three cookies. And they're supposed to actually be scented like the cookies too. Love this little extra detail that they actually printed the cookies right on the little lip crown. Oh, I already smell them. All of those cookie flavors are kind of blending together. It just smells really sweet and kind of coconutty, like a sweet coconut. So these colors just look really beautiful. I'm excited to use these. They even had this lip repair oil, also cookie scented as they they add some hydration to your lips and provides next level shine. Even though they're green, blue, and purple, it's actually just gonna go on like a clear glossy. So really, if there's just a certain flavor you like, you don't need all of them. I don't know, that Thin Mint doesn't smell very Thin Minty. Oh, actually, I think I'm starting to smell the mint now. It's just, it's not as obvious that that's a Thin Mint cookie, but it's a little minty smelling. I think the Coconut Caramel one smells the best because it smells very coconutty. I was also hoping I'd find these two. These are two little liquid highlighters. They didn't have a Thin Mint one though. And it's cute that they call these highlighters cookie icing. It says that it's cookie inspired, creamy, has a pearly glaze to add a sweet touch of highlight. So it's nice that they also decorated the highlighter tubes with the cookie cookies on them. Oh, it comes out like a lip gloss. I thought it would be a squeezy tube. Look at how pearly that highlighter is. That does look like a cookie glaze. Ooh, this one's nice and bronzy. Yep, and these are scented like the cookies too. These are some extra pieces that I found that are part of the collection. This might be the cutest mascara. It's gonna be in a dark chocolate color. Lashes meet chocolate decadence. It's a creamy volumizing formula with an hourglass brush for a full rich chocolatey experience. I don't think the mascara has a dark chocolate scent at all. I'm pretty intrigued by this too. The Girl Scout Refresh Mint Canvas Primer, but it says it has a frozen chill tip applicator. See, it's pointing right at it. <gasps> oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, it's oozing out, it's oozing out. Okay, mine, <gasps> mine must have been under pressure a little bit. I wanted to look at that applicator. So it's got cookies on it. Let's try it again, let's open it again. Oh, it's making a mess all over. Okay, you can see the color of the primer. Well, the back of the box says it's Choco Mint Complex with skin-loving ingredients will give you a refreshing cooling sensation to keep your skin's barrier prepped and protected. So I didn't get to actually see what the applicator looked like, but it's gonna look like this, you know, right where it's pointing. The last thing I found was one of these headbands. They actually had two of them. I liked this one that had all three cookies on it, but they also had one that just had the one cookie. Pretty cute. It's called the Girl Scout Head Start Get Ready Headband. So it's just really plushy and cute, you know, to keep your hair back as you're putting on your makeup and getting ready for the day. All right, so that was the Girl Scouts cookie collection. I found 
even more makeup at Walmart. If you guys just watched my nail polish video, you guys saw that I had some cool Ranch Doritos nail polish. Oh, well, I found makeup brushes. Mm -hmm, that's right, an official four piece makeup brush set with cool Ranch Doritos printed right on them. They seem nice and I like that they've got a little bit of blue right at the tip. This one's got a whole bunch of chips right on it. Well, this one just says Doritos. I wonder if there's a full eyeshadow palette that goes along with this because I also found Fruity Pebbles and they also had a brush set too, just like the Doritos. But not only did I find brushes, I found lip gloss and a Fruity Pebbles eyeshadow palette. <gasps> Look at those colors. You can taste the rainbow. Wait, that's Skittles, not Fruity Pebbles. So I got the eyeshadow palette. Lip glosses look really good. There's a red color that's kind of pearlized, like the Fruity Pebbles red color. And then there's also like a milky pearlized color too. Here's the makeup brushes. Oh, I love stuff like this. I love things that are just like fun. And this is fun. So you got the cereal printed right on the brush handles and these really nice soft brushes with a red tip. I don't even know if I want to use them because they're so cute. I think I just, I just want to keep them and just look at them because they make me happy. Who remembers my Marshall makeup haul? Do you guys remember I also found a Cheetos eyeshadow palette? Guess what I found at Walmart? Brushes and more makeup that go along with the Flaming Hot Cheetos. So here's the palette that I bought at Marshall's if you guys remember that video. This looks like it's part of the same collection too. So now I have Flaming Hot Crunchy Cheetos brushes. Oh, these are even more colorful. Look at that, I love it. The prints are so cute, including this little Cheeto print. So what's in this Cheetos beauty set? So five pieces, all Cheetos, yummy, delicious inspired. So it looks like it comes with two flavored lip glosses. Oh, yum, a pearly orange. It's not flavored like Cheetos though. I wish it was scented like it at least. And this one, a pearly yellow. That one smells lemony to me. Got the Cheetos lip balm, good. It's actually Cheeto orange color. What are these two ones? Oh, it's a flavored lip gloss. That smells like oranges. It does not smell like Cheetos. It smells like oranges. And the small one is another flavored lip gloss. That one has more of like a chemical orange smell. It's a dark cheesy orange and it has some glitter in it. So what do you guys think? There's probably like a full collection out there, right? Like there's probably Cheetos nail polish, probably a Fruity Pebbles beauty set. Like I, there's probably like a big giant collection. Have you guys seen it yet? I'll keep my eyes out for it. These I did not get at Walmart. These are Too Faced. So you can get it at any beauty store. And these are the kissing jelly glosses. I bought these because they are so, so good. These are all the different flavors they come in and they actually smell like those flavors. I've been using the bubble gum one and I love it that I actually went back and I bought all the other flavors. This one's cotton candy. I know it looks like it would be blue, but it gives just a tiniest bit, a little hint of a color, but a delicious sweet cotton candy flavor. This bubble gum one is the one I've been using the most and it adds like that really pretty color to your lips, that beautiful pink kind of shine. So glittery, so pretty. And the smell, like this is seriously a very sweet bubble gum. Let's look at gray Grape soda. Look at that color. Mm, you can smell the fizzy in the soda. Let's look at pina colada. Look at that pretty gold color. It smells so coconutty. I finally got my hands on some of the ColourPop Twilight collection. This was so hard to get. This collection just kept selling out. I managed to get a few pieces on the second restock, but it's not the full collection. I was able to get the liners. I think these are really pretty. I've been using the black one. They're a little bit on the thin side. This one's called Vampire and it's a red color. It's really, really pretty. But again, they're just a little bit thin when they apply. Let me give this one a shake. This one is called Forever and it's a really pretty forest green color. I haven't used this one yet. It looks like a, like a pin I'm gonna write with. These are the three lip oils that are part of the set. I'm so happy I got these. Look at the colors. I love things that are different and these are very different. You see that Edward is a blue lip oil. Team Jacob is a black and Bells is supposed to be like a blood red. Look at the color. I mean, look at that. That is so different. I love how different it is. Look at that pretty blue color. I haven't tried these ones yet, but I've also heard that they go on really, really light. So it'll just be like a little tiny tint of color. I don't know how buildable they're gonna be. And finally, we have the beautiful palette. The cover is so pretty. It's got Edward and Bella right on the top. And I love this color story. It looks so fun. So I couldn't wait to do this video. So now I can finally use this. Look Look at that color in the middle, lion and lamb. Is that not the most gorgeous, gorgeous foresty green? Of course, Edward is gonna be a glittery shade. Forever Young, look at that. It's like a metallic -y black. So, so, so pretty. So happy I got it. So that's what I have that's new with makeup. Thanks for joining me, you guys. Bye.